Okay. Yeti! Now, uh, before we actually begin here, I gotta make a couple things abundantly clear. Now, first of all, why this series is late. For starters, I had the basically the entire series just pre-recorded. However, when I began transferring shit, yeah, I had some tech issues. Well, mainly during the transfer, there's been some file corrupts. And during some of my attempted re-recording, my capture hardware crashed. So that got me out of the mood to record some stuff. And I've been lately out of the mood to do some recordings. Purely because of personal stuff, just stuff that has me down. One of them was pretty serious, actually. I had a friend that was involved in a massive shooting. Well, not necessarily massive, but just being involved in a shooting of any kind is fucked up. And it made me feel like I was stabbed in the back, frankly. But for the most part, I feel like that's I'm able to just put that stuff behind me and, well, the purpose of the pudding. The video is right here. <laughs> anyway, another thing I gotta mention right here is because I had to go back and re-record, there's gonna be some inconsistencies throughout. And when I say throughout, I mean up until a certain point. There's gonna be a text blurb on screen pointing out when. Anyway, that being said, let's get started. Long ago, two races ruled over Earth, humans and monsters. One day, war broke out between the two races. After a long battle, the humans were victorious. They sealed the monsters underground with a magic spell. Many years later, Not Eva, year 2001X. Legends say those who climb the mountain never return. Oh, ship. I don't care who you are or what, you're not going to survive a fall that high. Anyway, hey, you're ready to call Welcome to my new Let's Play Monday 2! Woohoo! Like, uh, this is one of the greatest RPGs I've ever played. Okay, it's kind of a stretch to say this is one of the greatest. But holy amaze balls, this is one of the greats. This is different than your conventional RPG. We'll begin to, um, well, <coughs> re what makes this different than your conventional RPG later on. But you got your controls, aim and confirm shit, B button is cancel, X button is your menu, all the good stuff. This is the Nintendo Switch version. There is the PlayStation 4 version, and you can get this on Steam. So it's fairly accessible. <laughs> wow. I don't know if you heard that, but that was Alexa in the background. <laughs> Trying to make heads or tails of what I was just saying. <laughs> well, this is kind of a great start. Well... Ignoring Alexa, you got different borders here. We got a simple border, which is, uh, with, which is just a um, square. You got sepia, which is what lines over a beige background. So, eh. got dynamic, which varies from area to area. 
I'm going to be going with that throughout the entirety of the game. I kind of like the idea of having a dynamic border, the border changing based on where you are. So anyway, let's get this started. We got to name the fallen human. Now, this will be our, the name of the character within the game. There are some pretty cool easter eggs regarding other names, which I may or may not show a few examples of that later. But for now, let's get this started. I will be using my own name, of course, which is Klaus. Is the name correct? Yes, because that print was way too small for me to read. <laughs> I do like that, just us uh, shaking nervously as it's big. Yes, our name is correct. Let's get this started. Let's play Undertale. And yes, we landed in a field of flowers. Yeah, I still argue that um, that was way too um, great of a height to fall to even survive. But we just kind of move around. And find out just where the hell we are. Okay. Howdy. I'm Flowey. Flowey the flower. Hmm. You're new to the underground, aren't ya? Golly, you must be so confused. Someone will teach you how things work around here. I guess a little of me you will have to do. Ready? Here we go. Already we're seeing an example of what makes us different than your conventional RPG. See that heart? There's your soul. The very communication of your being. If you move around this, what is this um, square type box. We are pretty limited on where we can actually move. This is very important to be noted for later on. Your soul sets up weak, but it can, can go strong if you gain a lot of level. What does level stand for? Why, love of course. Really, I thought it stood for level because in any other RPG that's what OV is ever written abbreviation for. You want some love, don't you? Don't worry, I'll share some with you. Down here, I'm shared through little white friendliness pellets. Are you ready? Move around. Get as many as you can. I want friendship! Ow! You idiot! In this world, it's kill or peekers! Why would anyone pass up an opportunity like this? creature tormenting such a poor innocent youth. Dad, do not be afraid, my child. I'm Toriel, the caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You're the first human to come in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. This way. Toriel's, um, I kind of got mixed feelings about Toriel personally, but she is one of those cool characters, and yes, she is the biggest meme in the fandom. But right now, we are at the kind of a new area. So the, these sparkle kind of things, these are your save points. The line of shadow, the... the <laughs> The shadow of the ruins looms above. Fully of determination. Already I can't read. Great omen for things to come. And I'm already reading this bad. <laughs> but yeah, we're here in the ruins. It looks like. Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you on the operation of the ruins. By stepping on switches. The ruins are full of puzzles. Ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. You must solve them to move, to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the sight of them. Which is pretty much any other RPG ever. Just puzzles and battles. Maybe you can press on these other two switches and they don't do a thing. Oh, actually, let me read this. 
Only the fearless may proceed. Brave ones, foolish ones, both walk not the middle road. So here, to make progress here, we'll need to trigger several switches. Do not worry, I've labeled the ones you need to flip. I'm not sure if this was intended to be Toby Fox's, um... <clears throat> Commentary on games need to handholdy, but this is kind of what it is. You know, we have Trolley here being literally handholdy. Now right here we have Stay on the Path, of course. And this is the most ironic s sign ever. Press A to read signs. How do you know to press A to read signs when you need to go up to it and press A to read the sign that tells you to press A to read signs? <laughs> Maybe that was a joke, I don't know. But right here. She not only has arrows pointing to the switch, but has written right beside it, please press this switch. Tutorial. Which is something like this moves her to the side. Let's press this switch! No, no, no. You want to press that other switch. I even labeled it for you. <laughs> yeah, she kind of scolds you if you go after, go after the wrong switch. So, meaning it's literally impossible to get this wrong. Splendid. I'm proud of you, little one. Let's move to the next room. And further proof that it's impossible to get this wrong is... The switch doesn't even work. I don't know if it's like faulty wiring or something of the sorts. Maybe this switch isn't even a switch at all, but it's just a mere painting, which is... A pretty nice illusion that it is a switch. Or maybe the switch is just stuck in place. I don't know. <laughs> As a little human living in an underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to prepare for the situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you're in a fight, let's pick up a friendly conversation. Stall for a time. I will come resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. We shall encounter the dummy. So we have four different options here. We can choose to fight it. We can choose to act. We can use items, which we have none at the moment. And we have mercy, which gets us into another thing that makes us different than you conventional RPG. You can go one of two routes. We can kill everything in sight or pretty much everything you come across, which is the genocide run, or you can spare your enemies. I.e. Well, sparing them, obviously. Which gets us into how I'm going to be tackling this series. And if you haven't guessed by this point, I'm going to be running the pacifist route. Let's go ahead and check it. Dummy, attack and defense is zero, a cotton heart and a button eye. You're the apple of my eye. Mmm, deep. That's actually, that's actually pretty sweet to say. Especially to your significant other. Hey, you're the apple of my eye. <laughs> Let's talk from like, um, Troy L1 and the Sioux. You talk to the dummy. It didn't seem much for a conversation. Troy seems pretty happy. Everyone! Because we acted a certain way or outright spared the monster, we get n zero experience. We'll, give you, we'll be getting into this much later, but experience in this game is a bad thing. Kind of like in Final Fantasy VIII, where leveling up is a bad thing. <laughs> ah, very good. You are very good. And no, leveling up in this game is a bad thing for reasons different than Final Fantasy VIII. There's another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. <clears throat> now you want to pay attention to the lighter shade of purple here. Notice that it's in a very specific pattern. There are various visual cues like this you want to keep you want to keep an eye out for, which will help you solve various puzzles. But this one is kind of meaningless, and we'll get into that a little bit later. But for now, uh, this way, in. you get an enemy, frog it. Now, normally, I check every enemy to um, go over its stats. That's in case you want to go down the um, genocide run. But for now, I'm just going to compliment the guy. 
I didn't understand what you said, but it was flattered anyway. And he just comes in looking pissed at the guy. <laughs> yeah, don't you come back and torment my child. <laughs> That's great. The western room is the eastern room's blueprint. Well, it's kind of pointless because if we even so much as approach, we can't even go beyond Toriel. That's the puzzle, but here, take my hand for a moment. Yeah, she's literally holding her hands as she's guiding us through this puzzle. Yeah, I didn't say literally hand holding for nothing. I was alluding to this. Come on, Toriel. I may be a little kid, but we don't need you to hold her hand and soft walk us through this. This will seem all too dangerous for now. Bull. I mean, I'm literally walking into these spikes right now. They're not causing me any damage. In fact, these are more walls than anything else. I mean, hell, this, but these spikes even retract as we get near them. So no, these aren't dangerous whatsoever. You have done excellently thus far, my child. However, I have a difficult request for you. I'd like you to walk to the end of this room by yourself. Forgive me for this. Oh no! Get back here! Some dramatic music is playing as I refuse to walk the path. Oh no, what if a monster attacks me? I don't have my guardian around me. I'm so frightened! Ah, mommy! Okay, no. But yeah, we gotta walk down this long corridor by ourselves. And surprise, she's behind the pillar. Greetings, my child. Do not worry, I did not leave you. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. Thank you for trusting me. However, there's an important reason for this exercise. Do you test your attendance? Let's attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. I have an idea. <laughs> I'll give you a cell phone. If you have need for anything, just call. Be good, alright? <clears throat> Why don't we take this cell phone and call her right now? Yeah, no, I am so I am no use for that. This right here is our stats. You see what level we are, our attack and defense, how much experience we have. How much experience is next level? Our weapon and armor. We start out with a stick, which is a worthless weapon. <laughs> and a bandage. Worthless piece of armor. Or you would think at first glance. We'll be into this later as after I um, acquire another armor piece, but the bandage is better than you think. And we can call yeah, four different options. We can say hello, tell her about ourselves. We can call her mom, which is what I did in my practice run. Or we can flirt with the old woman. Huh? Oh. <laughs> How adorable. I can pick your cheek. You can certainly find better than an old woman like me. <laughs> uh, what we can say to her does impact a um, cutscene later on. I'm going to spoilers, but you do want to remember your option here does impact a scene later on. Hello, this is Toriel. You have not left the room, have you? There are a few puzzles ahead and have yet to explain. It would be dangerous for you to try and solve them yourself. Be good, alright? Alright, what do you gotta say? Ready, ready. Excuse me, human. I have some advice for you about battling monsters. If you act a certain way or fight until you almost defeat them, they may not want to battle you anymore. If a monster does not want to fight you, please, use some mercy, human. Right. Now, that text being highlighted in yellow is actually very important. If a monster's name is yellow, that is an indication that you can indeed spare them. It says take one. Take a piece of candy? Yes. Now, to be courteous, we will go ahead and only take one. 
You can take up to three if you're going down the passive route and the jerk. Or if you go down the genocide route, I believe it's four. There will be a note on screen if I'm wrong, but that is how it is. And... Frogget! Hey, buddy! It's Chuck you. Attack is four, defense is five. I was difficult for this enemy. So, we got a bit of a... Um, attack phase going on here. Basically, in the attack phase, we move around. And so it's more based on skill if you're, if your enemy lands a hit or not, or if you're, um, actually, <laughs> if I can say this better, it's more so based on skill if your enemy's attack lands or not, rather than depending on skill. Rather than depending on luck. Damn, I cannot talk right. Each enemy has a different pattern of attack versus having a different attack entirely. Like, he's doing the same fly base attack again, which is kind of ironically tough. I forgot to put my phone on mute. Now you know my notification. That actually, that actually scared me. <laughs> uh, phone spook aside, I'm gonna go down here. And this kind of shows you, well, an upper floor and a lower floor and a uh, frog it. Okay. Will the do something different? Yes, it is! Just go to the bottom of the screen and you'll go underneath that jump just fine. I will be showing every attack the enemy ha that an enemy has. If I can. Hello, this is Toriel. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? Butterscotch is fine, but I'm kind of more of a cinnamon guy. Oh, I see. Thank you very much. This also has an impact on the um, scene later on. Just swimming is stuff to remember for later on. <laughs> Hello, this is Toriel. You do not dislike butterscotch, do you? I know what your preference is, but... Can you turn up your nose if you find it on your plate? Right. Right, I understand. Thank you for being patient, by the way. Alright, so we got... Yeah, another Froggit. Since we've already seen the Froggit, there's no need to show him twice. Three out of four gray rocks recommend you push them. It's kind of like a parody of... You know... Four out of five dentists will agree that chewing gum will help prevent plaque or something. But there's this again. There's that pattern of verses down below. If we check this, please do not step on the leaves. The leaves will show pretty much all the um cracked floors and Froggy and Wimson. The this also gets into something I like quite a bit. Whenever there's two enemies within the same battle, enemies don't have individual turns. They combine their attacks into one attack phase, making the attacks harder to dodge. This is brilliant idea of how to tackle boss. Not bosses. Oh well, yeah, bosses, I guess, but. That's a brilliant way to tackle battles and just makes them flow a little bit faster than they would normally. But this would in turn make a, quite a few battles a bit more difficult, which is another thing I really admire about this game. And just another thing that sets it apart from most um, conventional RPGs. That's a brilliant part piece. I know the path, but I fall down anyways because, well... A frog interrupted me, of course. No. I forgot what I was even going to say. Did you mean send downstairs? No. Screw you and your signs. I'll walk on the leap. That's what I get for ignoring signs. On the way back, we ran into Mold Small. Check it, and it's attack is 6, defense is 0, stereotypically. 
her visually attractive. But never mind. Ouch. Poor guy. Alright, let's flirt with it. You wiggly hips. Mind small wiggles back, but a meaningful, meaningful conversation! <laughs> uh, this is... Certainly interesting. For flirting with a plant, we get one gold. As a point of note, if you were to kill enemies, you would get a lot more gold. Pretty much double the gold you would get. But... Yeah, we're just gonna nice for this and go without the same song and dance. Some enemies, like, some, enemies like, some enemies like that you just bear right out of the gate, which is something I kind of like. Whoa there, partner. Who said you could push me around? Hmm? So you're asking me to move over? Okay, here's for you, pumpkin. Um, that's not moving far enough. Hmm? You want me to move some more? Alrighty, how's this? Not even remotely where I want you to be. Hmm? That's the wrong direction? Okay, I think I got it. Was that helpful? Yes, it certainly was. It certainly was. And shutting down the, um, spike barrier in the way. Right. And you move back, of course. Meaning we have to go back and... Hmm? I don't need to stay there. Give me a real workout. Uh, you kind of doing that to yourself, given the fact that you just moved off of that switch when I didn't want you to. And then again, getting workout is getting a work, nice steady workout is more a good thing than a bad thing. Now that we're done with that, we got a nice yummy piece of cheese. This cheese has been here quite a long time. Let's to the table. Meaning it's also full of mildew and such a sort. <laughs> That's so cute! But yeah. We made it here to the key spot. Knowing the mouse may one day leave its hole to get the keys, it fills you with determination, which is the main thing in this game, is determination. We're going to end things off here. Next time on Let's Play Undertale, we're going to continue exploring the ruins and catch up tutorial. See you guys then.